Hi, welcome to today's study through our continuing devotions in the book of Acts. And today you find me actually, it's the afternoon before this will be um, shared. And I'm in my car. If you've seen some of the previous devotions I've got to do, I've been sitting in my reading room, I've been on my back porch, I've been in my office. Um, and it kind of is a good representation of how devotions can look different um, from day to day for each of us. That sometimes we get a good quiet time to sit down and really go through um, scripture and, and spend that time in prayer. And today it finds me um, with my, my purse Bible uh, in between grocery click lists and running in the house and unloading and getting dinner ready and all those things. And so devotions look a little different um, on different days. But I wanted to spend this time with you. And today specifically, we are looking at Acts 13 and 13, 4 through 12. And in this section, we come off of Barnabas and Saul having been sent off um, in our introduction yesterday. And now they're on Cyprus. And they are coming to this location where this proconsul, Sergius Paulus, a man of intelligence, who summoned Barnabas and Saul, because he sought to hear the word of God. And so he was interested to hear these things. But there's Elimus, the magician, for that is the meaning of his name, opposed them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. So even though this guy wanted to hear from this message of the Lord, uh, there was this distraction. And I think it's interesting in this distraction when Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, he's speaking now to the magician that's being the distraction. You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you and you will be blind and unable to see the sun for a time. Immediately mist and darkness fell upon him and he went about seeking people to lead him by the hand. And then the proconsul believed when he saw what had occurred, for he was astonished at the teaching of the Lord. And what I find interesting about reading this is that the, the righteous frustration that must have stirred up in, in Paul, who has recently had his life so transformed by the power of Holy Spirit by encountering Jesus and his life's transformed. And so he's wanting to share that message. And when things get in our way, I don't know about you, but again, I get stirred up maybe with that frustration, that anger. And Paul responded looking at him intently. And even though he was frustrated, he was empowered by the Holy Spirit to say that. And because even his intense words um, were empowered by Holy Spirit, it was a transformational thing for the proconsul to hear and then believe more in the message of Jesus. And so I think that's interesting because again, I sometimes get stirred up in the things that I think would be righteous to say, but I don't ask Holy Spirit's guidance. And so I feel like we keep coming back to this um, in the study of book of, in the book of Acts, um, the power of what Holy Spirit is doing in the early church. And so that we can be reminded of, of that in our lives even now. What can Holy Spirit be stirring in you? Are you pausing? before you react to, to even righteous things to be frustrated at, pausing to let Holy Spirit guide you in that. Because if we do that, here's this example of Paul, if we allow Holy Spirit to be our guide, then it's for God's glory. In this case, the proconsul was astonished at the teaching because of what happened. Not because of what Paul said, not even because of how he said it, but because of what Holy Spirit was at work in this incident. So be encouraged today in the things that when devotions don't look the ways you think they always should, um, that it's just time in the word and what God's convicting you and encouraging you through. Um, so I hope it's been a good time for you as you continue to study with us. And again, just praying that Holy Spirit is being an encouragement to you and that you are being guided by what God would have you do. See ya.